trying to do this cochlear implant simulation. Currently it's uh, showing the frequency amplitude, so like a spectrogram. And I'm using a filter for my microphone that uh, being uh, used for recording with the filter. But uh, what you see on the screen is uh, unfiltered. So if any noise or anything, you will be able to see it here. To use this application, click the start button. You will see a graph that shows the electrical signals being sent to the brain. You can adjust the frequency and amplitude of the signals using the sliders. You can also adjust the number of electrodes that are used to send the signals. Try different settings to see how they affect the signals. This application is for educational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical. If you have questions about cochlear implants, please talk to your doctor or audiologist. Yeah, right, so we have the disclaimer and everything that's great, but uh, technically wise, we need some sort of uh, model of a cochlear implant electrode array, which normally has uh, roughly 20 electrodes on it. Okay, so this is uh, a flask application. Let's actually use the pod. Uh, I mean, ideally we'll be talking to a human, was interested in this kind of stuff uh, because um, humans tend to be very busy or pretend being busy then uh, we have to use the robot ah uh, yeah Another, uh, so this supposedly what <laughs> is <laughs> copilot is hallucinating <laughs> it's like uh Mail to <laughs> this application was created by Cochrane Plant Research Lab. No, 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 it wasn't. Uh, where it's getting this information from? Uh, so yeah, we can direct it in a different uh, uh, direction. We we need some sort of a uh, model of a uh, the uh, implant electrode array. And uh, let's see what it knows about yeah we need to create some sort of simple model it could be similar to actually the we were doing a game of life so i'm jumping around but it's a pixelated grid uh, i don't know how many pixels like 100 by 100 or something so we can actually draw it that way and that will be handy because we could uh, make a model that way a uh, display grid grid gap one pixel yeah i'm not sure about that okay there are pixels <laughs> uh it's actually could be a good start for could be a uh, lecture array. Yes, it's obviously taking your microphone stuff. Ooh, that's not good. Styling. Get rid of that styling for a sec. Don't have. Yeah, so that model. Yeah, each uh, create a grid of pixels. Each. Yeah, that's actually not a bad description. Wait, we'll take the description. Uh, get rid of the rest. Create a grid of pixels. Each pixel represents an electrode in the cochlear implant. The color of the pixel represents electrical signals sent to the brain. Mm, okay. The brightness of the color represents the amplitude of the signal. That sounds legit. The hue of the color represents the frequency of the signal. Well, the frequency of the signal would be... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. But, uh, the grid is updated real-time signal being sent to the brain. The user can adjust the frequency and amplitude of the signals using a slider. Uh, okay, we're using voice. Do you have anything else? No. Yeah, the hue of the color represents the frequency of the signal. I'm not sure about that. That should be bands. Uh, frequency bands. So it should be band uh, pass uh, filters. Each lecture is a and pass filter that filters out frequency that are too high too low well mm, no <laughs> so it's almost there uh, but not quite and uh, let's go back to the original thing uh, so we have the audio uh, canvas the start button a uh, creative grid of pixels will it be doing the code here no yeah this is actually <laughs> It's amazing how I don't know where it's uh, getting information from, but yes, this is better because before the sentence uh, didn't sound right. Each band, uh, each band that pass filter represent an electrode in the Cochrane plan. The frequency of the filter represent the frequency of the electrical signal center. Um, okay, okay, we have the one canvas. How many? Uh, how many JavaScripts have? Okay, so we're using a module 
thing because it's uh, that main JavaScript and that should be okay. The setting uh, is that settings doing anything at all? I don't think so. I don't change setting by the my audio processing chain, update frequency bands. Okay, we can get rid of the copy. Uh, we have settings main and audio processing in main JS. I would calling um, another JS thing. No, we're not. But we'll be calling audio processing from here. And change the settings applied to the audio processing chain. Yeah, don't like the structure. What is the structure anyway? Uh, we use Copilot with the workspace handle. Should have an info. Why don't we have? Wait, this should be called a uh, info text. A uh, update. We need to update. Yeah, update that uh, file and folder structure. We need to know what's what's what. A yeah, number of bands should define the number of band pass filters. Templates. Okay, static. F3 JavaScript files. I'm not sure uh, all of them the audio processing is being used. Okay, let's bring in the big guns, the new uh, model. Let's see what it can do. Uh, this is a JavaScript for the project. Okay, and of main.js. Okay, we also have the audio processing but i don't think we are calling it anywhere i don't think audio processing frequencies no we will need it eventually visualize is this meant to be running independently or something no and it starts with this it says okay so do a uh, go check out the uh, bodykills.com uh, don't forget to turn your ad blockers off. There's a lot of interesting tools for you to try out. Including some uh, neural network trainer that uh, it just shows you how uh, unnecessarily complicated uh, neural networks can be. Uh, you can change all your uh, parameters, training set size, uh, number of hidden layers, a noise level. Every time you change the noise level, you actually have to uh, hit the retrain button. Sweet. That's a bit weird. Something doesn't. Something isn't right. Have to check that uh, tool. Yeah, now the noise went away. Yeah, so it uh, tells you if it uh, converged or not. So yeah, if you reduce the noise in the signal, you increase the set size. The training set size it uh, converges better on uh, to the actual uh, waveform let's go check it out let me know what you think okay back to this Ooh, generating a lot of code sometimes it's being a uh, lazy let's read this quickly your code provides a solid foundation for a copy owned on simulator web application here are a few improvements and clarifications. Your Flask setup is fine. Ensure your HTML files are in the templates folder and JavaScript files in the static folder. Isn't that the same? Ensure your index HTML file is properly structured and linked to the JavaScript files. Uh, yeah, the size. I don't know exactly what the changes it made, but we we will go for it. These adjustments should enhance the functionality and maintainability of your copy of Implant Simulator application. Let me know if you need further tweaks or additions. Uh, no, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, we just want to explain the code. We don't want the uh, GPT-4 to actually code. We'll get the uh, copilot to do it. It's insisting. Yeah, I don't like it today. <laughs> it's Sometimes it's too lazy and it won't uh, generate any code. And uh, other times, like now, it's just overly keen on uh, generating code uh, using uh, Copilot. 
This script handles the setup and connection of audio nodes. Setup audio nodes initializes the audio filters, compresses, envelope follows, and analyzes based on predefined frequencies. Connect audio nodes connects these nodes in the correct order for processing audio. Visualize continuously updates the visualization on the canvas based on the analyzer data. Create envelope follow creates an envelope follow using a wave shaper and low pass filter to track the amplitude of the audio signal. These scripts collectively create a web-based cochlear implant simulator, allowing users to visualize and interact with the audio signals processed by the simulated cochlear implant. Modular JavaScript files. The main logic is split into three files, main, JS, settings, JS, and audio processing, JS for better maintainability and separation of concerns. Code improvements. Updated draw function in main, JS to continuously update the canvas with the current frequency data. Implemented eventlessness in settings, JS to dynamically update the frequency bands and compressors. Define setup audio nodes, connect audio nodes, and visualize functions in audio processing. JS to handle the initialization and connection of audio nodes, and to update the visualization. Helper functions, added generate frequency bands, update filters, reconnect audio nodes, and update visualization in audio processing. JS for dynamic updates and better modularity. These updates ensure the JavaScript code is cleaner, more organized, and easier to maintain.